Texas. Hello students, hello, hello, hello Hector, hello Marco. Hello teacher, good, good evening. Hey, good evening, how are you? Fine, I, I take a, a rest. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. You know, I know that maybe you had a very busy day, a lot of activities. Yes, yes, oh. yes. yes. Okay. After the, the weekend, the, the, the Mondays feel a little uh, hard. Oh, okay. Yes, I know. And we start this week, you know, with, you know, motivation and also with a lot of work. I, I understand that to be uh, very challenging. So, yes. Okay, so, but the most important is that we had to have this energy to, you know, to do the best and to work so hard. Yes, but I amazing because the start the class, I learn more English. Yes, I know you learn more English and you also, you, you study and you practice more. Okay, so I wish you good luck with that and, you know, do your best because it's necessary always, you know, show that we are the best. Okay. okay. <laughs> and also, yes, and also because, you know, besides you do a lot of activities, you are studying English and this is great because uh, you are, you know, learning a language that it's that in a couple of months, you will have the complete domain of the language. Do you watch movies yes. in English or uh, series, television? Serious teacher. I watch series, series, movies also. And I read a book in my phone. Wow. And I listen to music and practice grammar in a pet app. An app Whoa, with, okay. phone cell phone. with your cell phone. Oh my God. So it's very interesting. Okay, don't stop. Continue working like that and you will become very successful in the language. Okay, so welcome to everybody. It's a great pleasure to have you here. We have Marco, also Elena, Esmeralda, Denise, and some other students will join us, Gisela too. Welcome to our English class. We're ready. Are you ready to, to study English? Yes. Yes. Excellent. That's awesome. Also, we have Denise too. Hi, Denise. Welcome. Uh, we are ready to begin. Okay, we should start with energy this time because it's good. Don't forget to have the camera on because it's necessary to have, as we know, in support is like monitoring that all of you stay connected here in this class. So that's why it's necessary. So let's begin with our English class today because the time is actually going so fast that in every day we are learning. But let me tell you that we have a very very inter interesting topic to share today. This topic is very interesting for you. It will be a backup. And also for some of them will be a, a, top, a new topic, but we will study this one. And before, before that we'll start the class, I just want to ask you what we started in the last class. What do you remember? What we did? Give me some ideas about it, please, students. I know you remember this topic, what we did because I always like to ask. Yes, what we started? Tell me, tell me. Hello, hello. 
We practice we practice speaking with the parents. Ah, okay. Okay, uh-huh. Nice, nice. Okay, great. Okay. All right, what else we can say? ¿Qué más podemos decir? Give me some ideas, guys. You can do it, you can do it. What do you remember? Yes, 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 dear students, what we did. ¿Qué más hicimos? No me dejen solo, no me dejen solo. Tell me what happened. Yes. The last, the last, the last. Uso de, de los modal verbs. Ah, nice, Esmeralda. Good, good. Awesome, awesome. That's what I like, you know, participation. Okay, so let's begin. Let's begin with this the topic. Last, yes. The last time we went to the restaurant. Good. Yes, yes. Yeah, and we learned to ask for food. And also we talk about favorite food. That's cool. Okay. Uh, don't forget to have the camera on, students. Uh, I, would like, I would like to ask you, ¿me escuchan bien? Uh, ¿Me escuchan bien bien? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So let's begin. And we have this section, uh, video conference number nine. Well, it's also the biggest and the best. That's the topic. Listen up. The biggest and the best. We're talking about superlatives, and this is a very easy topic, and I will explain you how it is, okay? Let's go with that part. And I need a volunteer, or I don't know, Esmeralda, can you help me to read the general objective, please? And in this class, participants will learn new vocabulary related to geography. Okay, I have a question, students. Are you good for geography? Um, are you good for geography? Hello, are you good for geography? Yes or not? Honestly, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so let's try. I know it's, it's easy. It's easy. It's not so difficult. Okay, so let's begin with this part right here. And Marco, can you help me to read the instructions, please? Yes, tell me. Okay, the instructions are level the pictures with the words from the list. What other geographic words can you think of? Do you see any of them the pictures? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Marco. So look at this one. And what do you see in the picture? Also, we have vocabulary and we have a beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. So let's practice this vocabulary because the pronunciation is a little, a little different. So the first one, so you also you can practice is beach. The second one we call a desert. The third one is forest, forest. Number four, and letter D in this case, heel, heel. So you can practice there. Uh, next, island, listen up, island. So try to practice because it's the pronunciation. Instead of, you, you don't pronounce S, it's like island, it's a silent word. So practice island. Letter F is lake. Island. Yes, island. Then it's lake. Letter G. Practice with me because the, the correct pronunciation is mountain. 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 Uh, people, yeah, people sometimes they mispronounce this word like uh, mountain, but it is this is not the pronunciation. The pronunciation is mountain. Mount, mm, it's like, it sounds like mount, and mm, that's the pronunciation about tame. Ese, el, el, eh, en este caso, la, la, la fonética no pronuncia el time, no, no existe en ese caso, sino que es como, mm, like, um, like mountain. 
Entonces usted ya no va a decir mountains, sino que va a decir mountains, ¿ok? That's the word. And also we have ocean, river, letter G, eh, J is valley. Practice, valley. Valley. Val valley, that's right. And the next one is volcano. Volcano, practice. Volcano. 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 Okay, perfect. And the last one is waterfall. Okay, uh, this is a very simple activity. What I want you to do, guys, is to um, see, match the, the vocabulary with the pictures. You can see some uh, balls, like white balls. So you had to um, match the letter with the, also with the pictures, okay? So we'll try to identify them, okay? So in that case, I want you to help me to uh, match the vocabulary with this one. Yes, help me with that part, because I know that you're good for this. The first is K, bueno, no sé cómo es eso. I'm sorry? Uh, the, the, the K? The volcano. Volcano. Yeah. Which one, which one? Es, no recuerdo cómo se dice K para ser sincero. K, K. K, ok, yes. K. That's right. Ok. Ok, so in this case, this, this would be. What is this one? Oops. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, volcano. Okay. K. Ah, ok, so in that case, will we use it? Let me check here, mm, this one. So this is K. Okay, what other do you find, for example? Lake. Uh, this is the lake? Yes. Let, letter F. Okay, so you can see. Letter F. Okay, letter F is lake, oh, nice, what else? Yes, uh -huh. The letter uh, yes, wow. L, L, waterfall. Ah, uh, waterfall, waterfall. Let me check, let me check. Ah, letter I, right? Yeah. Okay, right, nice. What else do you see? What else do you see in the picture? Letter C, forest. Forest, forest. Okay, letter C, right? Okay, I think it's this one. Mm -hmm. Nice. What else? What else? What else do you see? River letter. Okay. Uh, what letter is this? I'm sorry. What letter? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Hi. The letter F is nothing. It doesn't. It doesn't, the letter F is, uh, is Island. It, it's an island. Uh, the letter F. It, yes, it's mm. Island. Uh, mm -hmm. Perdón, no, no, it's, it's, no, a, no, it's, it's not an island? Uh, it's Island, uh, Island, it's Island. It, it's an island, and you're saying that let me check letter E. Yes. Uh, this one. Yes, but but letter F is the lake. Just, uh, uh, yes, lake, but it doesn't in the circle. Is circle is more is more near to the uh, abajito. It's down there. It's down there. Um, okay. Yeah. This one. Oh, this one. This one. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's so late. letter F could be this one in this side here. Let me try. Yeah. So we can move it. Yeah. Why not? So also we can do that. And this one, letter F. So you can see here some um, places. 
some a part of the geography. And also we have the beach that is letter A. So look at this one. And the ocean. Uh, ah, the ocean. Ah, it's letter H, right? And it could be in this letter idea. Letter G, también, mont, mont. Uh, letter G, G, oh. ah, mountain, mountain. Yes, it's the mountain. Yes, that's correct. Desert. Uh, desert? And uh, what is that desert. one? Letter? Letter. 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 Letter B, like this one? In this space here? Yeah, that, that could work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can see that. <laughs> and, um, and we have some other places. Volcano, waterfall. So actually we have waterfall here. Volcano, valley. And so we could see like mountains, like a valley. We could use a J here, maybe. Está la parte de la t-shirt. ¿Cuál sería ahí? ¿Sería esta? Eh, Valley. Sí, por la A está el circulito. Ah, oh, this one, this one. J. Yes. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Nice, nice. And let me see. You. What else? You. Uh, the hill? Yes, where is the hill? Um. Little white river also is the lake, teacher. Same. Uh, the river is well. The river is I. It's it's over here, I guess. You can see. Yes. Yeah, that's the river. But also, we have a a waterfall too. Yeah, most of them we can find an island, hill, forest, desert, and beach. Okay, great. So we could like show here a part, part of the geography. And the question is, what other geography words can you think of in, in general? Do you know any other words that you can include? Can you help me with that? Think about it. Check, heaven check. Heaven or yes? sky? Heaven or sky? Uh, heaven or sky? Hmm. Check, check. Mountain, <sighs> hill. Uh, the, perhaps we can include lagoon because the, there is a lake, but also we have lagoon, another possibility too. And a cliff. Maybe. Yes. Maybe tree. Uh, trees. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, part of nature. We we can say also cliff. Also, we can that we say in Spanish acantilado. In English, we wow, say okay. cliff. Another cliff. possible. Bay. A bay. Yes. Yes. A bay too. Good. Yes. That's great. And also some other words about geography. And do you think those places are good for vacations? Good destinations for vacations? Do you think these places could be good? Yeah, for me it's good. Yes. What do you prefer most? What do you prefer, guys? Mountains, the beach, river? What do you prefer most? For me, the beach. beach. The beach. Yeah. Okay. For me, it's mountain, uh, river. Oh, the river. Nice. Yes. Yeah, the river is good. I lake. like to I like to walk. Mm, okay, nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. Also the Here. yes, tell what me. Do, what what do you mean hill little D? Oh, it's related to Colina, like Colina in English. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. It's una colina. Uh, questions about vocabulary, by the way. Do you have what a question? Sorry? What is lake? Lake is lago. Lago, that is lake. 
And waterfall. Waterfall is cascada. Ah, okay. Yeah, with what waterfalls down, like in the picture. So that's what we call waterfall. Okay, so let's continue with the next exercise here. And we have the general conversation. In this case, I need you to practice this conversation, guys. It says, which is larger? For this, I need to record this conversation. Vamos a grabar esta conversación y se la voy a compartir en el grupo para que usted tenga la pronunciación. It's okay? Yes? Okay, okay. Excellent. Let's go. And let's see. Here's geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question, which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, uh, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. Mm, I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, look at this conversation. You can you can see that people are like talking about a uh, uh, in a specific, you know, place, right? So check the conversation again. By the way, I sent it to you the audio about this, this conversation. Here is a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, I need I need guys that you practice this conversation and work with the accent because the most important is that you can practice and pronounce the vocabulary. For this, what I want you to do is to work in small groups and practice this conversation. And also, if you say teacher, pero hay unas palabras que pues me cuestan un poquito, les he compartido. Eh, la pronunciación por, por audio en el grupo para que usted la pueda eh, pronunciar y pues le ayude a mejorar bastante su pronunciación. Before that we go on to the next groups, I just want to ask you, do you have a question or doubt about the activity? David, Esmeralda? No question. Or no Rebecca? Question. No, no questions, Rebecca, too. Eh, no se les olvide también tener su cámara encendida porque es importante por eh, ya que Isafor nos pide que lo hagamos. Ok, so in this moment we will work in the breakup rooms. So uh, just give me one second. Uh, let me tell you that I changed my laptop and also in this laptop the information is in Spanish. Entonces como ya estaba acostumbrado como a a utilizar la otra computadora donde está en inglés, yo buscando aquí este, la opción de, de breakup rooms, porque siempre lo he usado así, y aquí dice salas para grupos pequeños. Ya ven, esa es la diferencia de usar mucho inglés. <ríe> ok, so let's see the next part. Uh, vamos a crear los breakup rooms y usted con su, con su grupo o con su pequeño equipo va a practicar esta conversation. Y recuerden, démosle la pronunciación. You can do it.
Hola. Um, hello. Hi. Hello. Hola. Hello. Eh, Gisela. Sí. Hi, Gisela. Eh, ¿No ha recibido eh, la invitación? Ah, uh, no. Ay, yo pensé que estaba en el grupo. Ah, ok. We are here. Ok, ok. Eh, no sé si, revise si está la invitación. Yes. is large China or Canada I know Canada is larger than China hi <laughs> I know Canada is large than China. Eh, no era Mike. Usted no era Mike. Creo que le tocaba el. Ok, next. Y. Pa, 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 pa. Ok, ne next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think is the Mississippi. Here is a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? It's not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital? City is the highest, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Uh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. The last one, yo soy Mike. Okay. And here is a geographic quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask, ask me the question. Oh, sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. And... Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's her one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South America capital city in the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogotá? Oh, that's easy. Bogotá is higher. Ok. Hay cuatro, ¿será que hay otro niño? Ah, Oscar Antonio. Oscar, no, papá. Questions. 
Sure. First question. Which country is larger than China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is a uh, Haires, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. Ahora si quiere voy yo con Xiomara. Sí, sí, sí. Usted sería con Cusaguera. Ahora comience usted. Vaya. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Sure. First question, which country is large, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Um, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is highest. Mm. Vaya. Vamos a platicar Marco o cambiamos de papeles. Eh, si quiere, si, déjamelo una vez más. Quiere comienzo usted. Vanessa, y, y vamos a través una por una. Ok. Her agrography is the perfect paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Hola. Yo creo que vamos a salir, compañera. Gracias. Hola. Yo creo que ya vamos a salir. No me escucha. Yo creo que vamos a regresar. Todavía no nos han llamado. Ajá, ah, todavía. bueno. Bueno. Démoslo. Este, comenzamos bueno. otra vez. Sí, otra vez. Comience, compañera. Here's a geography keys in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Mike. Mike. Usted que va a hacer una cada una y vamos a ir. Ah, sure. Free question. Sorry. <laughs> sure, free question. Which country is large, China or Canada? I con Canada is larger than China. China. Okay. okay. Next, what? Uh, ne oh, okay. Next, what's the largest river in America? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not I sure. Know. Sorry. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. I think Monaco is crowded. Okay, one more. Which South America capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's AC. Bogota is the highest. Ya se unió otro compañero. 
De sí. verdad, ¿no? ¿Quién es? Sí. ¿Pasó, Cristian? Hola, ¿todo bien? ¿Todo bien? Aquí esperándolo. Vaya que practique el compañero una vez, aunque sea. Sí, ok, vamos, vamos. dele, dele, dele con Vanessa. Espérame, quiero ver, vaya. Dele, que inicie Vanessa. Here's a geography kiss in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First time a question, which country is larger in China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the larger is the river in the Americas? Um, I think it's, it's the Mississippi. Here's hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, students, and we're back. Also, congratulations for the practice. It was good. I could listen most of you having this conversation and also working with the accent. This is what we are looking for. So great job, students. Don't stop working so hard in this one. You can see we combine also grammar, vocabulary, and the pronunciation. It's necessary. When we practice, we feel comfortable talking. Let's continue with the next part of the class. And also I have here and the topic that we need to work. I will explain you the use of the comparisons with adjectives. Have you studied this topic before? Yes or not? Have you studied this topic before? Yes. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a backup or a review for you guys. Well, let's go back. When we talk about comparison, we can compare people, animals, and object. I repeat, when we compare, we compare, we people, compare people, animals, and object. We also, compare people, and animals, and object. Yes, that's what we compare. And in this one, we need to use adjectives. And the function of an adjective is to describe people, animals, and objects. So the adjectives can help us to give us a specific characteristic about a person. If the person is smart, if the person is crazy, is intelligent, is tall, is short, is angry, if hot, cold, short, fast, slow, clean, dairy, narrow, white, and also we have adjectives in general. But when we're using comparisons, we're talking about adjectives. And also we have the adjectives, the comparative and the superlatives. Look at examples. And who wants to help me to read these sentences that I have in this, uh, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca, this one. Okay, continue, Rebecca. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the of the three was the most beautiful mountain uh, in the world. I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Thank you so much. Exactly. That, that's, that's the focus about this part. Okay, so we can see here eh, que tenemos la pregunta, eh, which country is larger? ¿Cuál país es más grande? Y está Canadá o China. Decimos Canadá is, 
y vamos a ocupar el, superla el comparativo larger y junto a larger vamos a utilizar then. Anote esto, por favor. Take notes. Eh, para comparar vamos a necesitar este conector que, es, que dice then. Look at this one. Aquí está, miren, está then. T-H-A-N. ¿Qué significa then? Significa que. Anótelo ahí, por favor. Take notes. Este then lo vamos a utilizar junto al comparativo para decir que Canadá es larger. Es decir, que Canadá es más largo. Y luego vamos a utilizar then, que significa que China. Which city has the largest population? ¿Cuál ciudad tiene la, la población más grande? Tokyo, Mexico City o Sao Paulo. Tokyo has the largest. Aquí vemos que hay un superlativo. El superlativo es cuando nosotros decimos que no hay comparación. El más largo. And what is the most beautiful mountain in the world? Y decimos, I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Para hacer un resumen de lo que son los comparativos, tenemos ya los adjetivos. Tenemos el adjetivo normal, que en este caso es long, dry, big, famous, beautiful, good and bad. Ahora bien, el comparativo, para los comparativos, nosotros le vamos a agregar a los adjetivos que son pequeñitos, le vamos a agregar una E y una R al final de cada uno. ¿Y qué va a significar la E y la R? Pay attention, va a significar más. Como ustedes ya lo vieron, va a ser como un review para ustedes. En este caso, como yo digo long y le voy a agregar una ER, va a decir longer, porque solo tiene una sílaba. Entonces, ahora va a significar más largo o más grande. Dry significa seco. Y yo quiero decir más seco, eh, como termina en una Y y el adjetivo es súper pequeño, no tiene ninguna vocal, entonces yo le voy a agregar le voy a eliminar la Y, le voy a agregar la I latina más ER. Y ahora va a decir drier, que significa más seco. Vamos con el adjetivo big. Big en este caso es grande. Y como dice la regla que cuando el adjetivo tiene una vocal, una consonante, vocal consonante, yo le tengo que poner otra consonante. En este caso, como termina en una G, yo le voy a agregar otra G más. Entonces ahora va a decir bigger, que significa más grande. Entonces, my country is bigger than your country. Mi país es más grande que tu país. Vamos con famous. Famous, como en este caso tiene más de dos sílabas, porque es un adjetivo más grande, a este ya no le vamos a agregar una ER, porque el adjetivo es grande. Le vamos a agregar more más el adjetivo. Y ahora yo digo more famous, es decir, más famoso. More beautiful, más hermosa. More interesting, más interesante. More attractive, más atractivo. More famous. Entonces, Excuse me. yes. Ah, entonces, cuando las, los adjetivos son pequeños, como con cuatro... Una sílaba, ajá. Ah, una sílaba. No. Eh, entonces se les agrega o ER o IRE o GR, pero cuando ya son largos, como de dos sílabas o tres, entonces se les aumenta more en Ex vez de aumentar de ER. Exactamente. Como el adjetivo tiene más de dos sílabas, entonces este ya no se le va a agregar ER, sino que solo se le va a agregar more, haciendo un equivalente más el adjetivo. More attractive. More intelligent, more interesting, more famous, more beautiful. Entonces, vemos ahí. Y vamos con lo siguiente. Cuando la, hay un adjetivo, en este caso el adjetivo good, este se le llama adjetivo irregular. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, este no tiene, no se le puede agregar ni ER ni nada. Porque ya es un adjetivo, eh, digamos, irregular. Es decir, que ya está establecido. Ahí son los que lo tengamos que aprender. Entonces, ahí el, el, el comparativo es better, que en ese, en ese caso sería bueno. Better significa eh, mejor en este caso. Look at that. Y bad también es un 
adjetivo irregular. Este tampoco le vamos a agregar ni ER, sino que este, el, el comparativo es worst. Entonces, si yo digo bad es malo, worst significa peor. Look at the examples. Y vamos con los superlativos. El superlativo es cuando el adjetivo es pequeño, le vamos a agregar una EST. El comparativo solo le agregamos una ER. Pero para el superlativo le vamos a agregar D, el artículo definido, D. Y le vamos a agregar EST. Casi parecido, miren, casi parecido al comparativo, solo que este es EST. Ahora yo quiero decir el más largo. Y yo digo en inglés, the longest. Dry, seco. Dryer, más seco. The driest, el más seco. Es decir, que no hay comparación alguna. Big, en este caso es grande. Bigger, más grande. The biggest, el más grande. Vemos ahí que ustedes veían la marca The Biggest. Eh, vemos ahí que es, eh, the biggest significa el más grande. That's the meaning about this exercise. Yes? La hamburguesa biggest. Ah, oh, the restaurant. Ok. And ¿Puedo also... repetir lo de los superlativos? Que no, no. ¿Hola? ¿Puedo repetir lo de los superlativos? Sí, para los superlativos, cuando el adjetivo es pequeño, usted le va a agregar el THE, que es el D, el artículo definido, y al adjetivo usted le va a agregar una E, una S y una T. Y decimos the longest. Ahora es el más largo o el más grande. The driest, el más seco. The biggest, el más grande. Y en este caso, el, cuando tiene más de dos sílabas, en vez de more, que era más, ahora va a decir el más The most famous, el más famoso, es decir, que no hay comparación alguna. The most beautiful, la más hermosa, o el más hermoso. The most attractive, el más atractivo. The most intelligent, el más inteligente. Entonces, ahí usted le va a agregar the most. Y en este caso, el superlativo irregular, the good, es the best. Entonces, el good es bueno, better es mejor, y the best significa el mejor. Bad es malo, worse es peor, y the worst es el peor. Entonces, y así definimos eh, los adjetivos comparativos y los superlativos. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio porque esto es como la teoría, esto es como la introducción. That is the introduction about this exercise. But we will see some other examples because we need to go deeper with this topic. And aquí vemos otro ejemplo. Eh, vemos, eh, por ejemplo, aquí solo lo vemos en función de, de comparativos. Por ejemplo, long, longer. Straight, que significa recto, el más recto. Big, bigger, el más grande. Tall, taller. Large, larger, hot, hotter. Si ustedes se acuerdan, ¿se acuerdan de la palabra bigger? ¿Se acuerdan? Sí, bigger, si ustedes se fijan, solo llevaba consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, como solo lleva eso, yo tengo que agregarle una consonante más. Ahora lo vemos aquí, la misma regla en hot. Si ustedes se fijan, hot tiene la misma regla, tiene consonante, la vocal y consonante. Entonces yo tengo que agregarle otra consonante. ¿Por qué? Porque el adjetivo es muy pequeño. Entonces yo tengo que agregar otra consonante. Y ahora digo hotter, que significa más caliente. Y en este caso vemos que tiene una sílaba. Vamos con la siguiente. Two syllable adjectives. Si tiene dos, eh, dos sílabas, eh, tenemos honest, more honest. Famous, more famous. Happy, eh, happier. Eh, como en este caso, happy termina en una Y, yo le voy a eliminar la Y y le voy a agregar una I latina más una ER. Happier. Y narrow, que significa angosto. Entonces, narrower significa más angosto. 
Eh, vamos con crazy. Como termina con una Y, le elimino la Y y le agrego una Y latina. Y ahora digo the crazier, es decir, más loco. Y gentle, gentler, más gentil. Cuando son tres sílabas, veamos las tres sílabas, tenemos three or more syllables. Expensive, more expensive. Popular, more popular. Confident, more confident. Dangerous, more dangerous. O sea, más peligroso. Beautiful, more beautiful. Difficult, more difficult. Porque son eh, adjetivos más grandes, ¿verdad? Entonces solo les agregamos more. Esto es para los comparativos. Vamos con los adjetivos irregulares. Dice acá que el irregular, este no se le agrega ni ER ni, ni nada. Eh, porque tiene una estructura diferente. Entonces decimos good, que significa bueno, el comparativo es mejor. Bad, bueno, eh, malo, worse, peor. Far, lejos, farther, más lejos. Many significa muchos. More significa más. Little significa poquito, less significa menos. Y vemos ahí far y further. Entonces tenemos como este cuadro de la estructura comparativa. Vamos a hacer eh, unos ejercicios para que ustedes puedan eh, ver ahí qué es lo que les hace falta. Les voy a dar un momento para que usted piense y eh, le agregue lo que necesita. Si le agrega ER, este es solo para comparativos, oigan bien con ER o more, ¿cuál de los dos? Así que este, les voy a dar un espacio para que lo completen y eh, vamos a pasar la asistencia. ¿Les parece? ¿Is that okay for you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Les voy a compartir aquí en el chat eh, esta, esta, estas oraciones porque voy a buscar en este momento my attendant list. So, revisen en el chat, por favor. Okay, so, let's see. Miren, todos estamos trabajando y David Roberto en la playa aparece, miren qué galán. <laughs> <laughs> y nosotros aquí estudiando en nuestras casas, no, hombre, qué lujo es. <laughs> Ok, este, ya, les, ya les digo, ya los menciono. One second, please. Okay, let's see here the attendance list. You listen your name and you say present, please. Okay, let's check, let's, let's check, let's check. Okay, January 30. Eh, Ada Agar Burgos? Present. Eh, Blanca Elena Melara? Blanca? Eh, Christian? Ok, thank you. Cristian Salatiel. Present. Eh, Claudia Lisset. Present, teacher. Thank you. David Roberto Aquino. Present, teacher, present. Thank you. Always eh, present. Excellent. Eh, Denis Francisco Alvarado. Denis Francisco. Hello. Is not here? No, it's not. Eh, Elena. Gabriela Jovel. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Esmeralda. Present eh, teacher. Okay. Present. 
All right. Uh, Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Present. Héctor Iván Pérez. Héctor. Present, teacher. Uh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco. Present. Ok. Eh, María Elena Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present. Rebeca Jonel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Vanessa Gabriel Hernández. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Present teacher. Eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, eh, are you ready? Are you ready, students? Yes or not? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Vamos a usar el chat. Voy a usar el chat como as a board so we can also check each answer. Okay, what is the number one? Eve. What is the first one? Color. 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 Ok. Y les voy a escribir también. El, y les voy a escribir a la par el superlativo. ¿Les parece? Yes. So we, we can also compare. Entonces decíamos que es taller, es decir, más alto, más alto, y de tallest que es el más alto. En este caso, Eve is taller than Anna. En este caso, Eve es más alto que Anna. Eh, para el comparativo, Ana is short. ¿Cómo sería acá? Shorter. Shorter, yes, shorter. Y el superlativo es the shortest. Vamos con old. Eh, older. Older y el superlativo older. es the oldest. Es decir, el más mayor o el más viejo. Older and y el superlativo es the oldest. Vamos con John. Younger. Younger. Excelente. Y el superlativo es the uh, the youngest. The youngest, right? So we have younger and the youngest. Vamos con hot. Hotter. Hotter. ¿Y le vamos a agregar alguna letra o solo le agregamos R? Agregamos otra T. Eso. Excelente. Y el superlativo es the hottest. O sea, el, el más caliente. Entonces usted va a decir que para referirnos a zona, ¿verdad? Países, you know, it's the hottest. Ok. Y el adjetivo, pues en este caso es hot. No es decir usted teacher, it's, it's hot, it's hot, right. En uh, cold. Colder. Colder, Colder, yes. ¿Y el superlativo? Colder. The coldest, yes, that's correct. And the superlativo is the coldest. O sea, el más helado. Y vamos con la siguiente. Hair is fast. Faster. 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 Y el superlativo es... The fastest. Es decir, el más rápido. Faster. Faster es más rápido. Y the fastest, el más rápido. Es slow. Okay. Slower. Slower. Y el superlativo? Slowest. Slower. Es the slowest. Es decir, más lento, <laughs> slow. Y el superlativo es el más lento. Y vemos ahí, eh, ¿pueden ver el chat? Can you see the chat, please? Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. So you can see here the, the example, right? So and we say the slowest. Entonces ya tenemos el ejemplo de los comparativos y yo les he escrito a la par lo que es un superlativo. It's... Um, a very interesting exercise because we are 
actually working. Tenemos el siguiente, pero lo vamos a trabajar eh, en the next class, en la siguiente clase. Y ahí les vamos a hacer otro ejercicio más, como the biggest, smaller, fatter, thinner, happier, sadder, good. Eh, en este caso, good es eh, better. Y el de bad es worse, ¿verdad? Entonces, también haremos unos ejercicios con los superlativos para identificar eh, esa estructura. Eh, como esto es una, una clase eh, práctica, el día de mañana, pues, vamos a dedicarnos a hacer más ejercicios con los comparativos y los superlativos. So, what is the main purpose that you can understand this topic? Um, do you have a question before we finish the class? No, no, teacher. Excelente. Recuerden que vamos paso a paso y les voy a compartir ahí unos enlaces por medio de, del WhatsApp para que usted, pues, aparte, pueda practicar un poquito acerca de los superlatives y los comparatives, ¿ok? So, students, thank you so much for staying in the class and I hope to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow, thank you. Too. Thank, you. Bye. Thank, you. Bye. thank you. Good night. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.